Well, he came into this life December 28th of 1856. At the Mans in Staunton, Virginia, part of the Wilson family mix. They named him Thomas, but they called him Woodrow from then on, that name sticks. Woodrow grew up, then he went to college, found his passion to debate. He finished Princeton, studied law, and was admitted to the bar in Georgia State. In 83 went to John Hopkins, got a doctorate to educate. That same year he met Alan, fell in love with in 85 then. They had three children, Margaret, Jesse, Eleanor, Wally, Todd, and Bryn Mark, and Wesley, and Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson, Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson, Rosa! He worked his way up to be president of Princeton in 1902. In 11, his becoming governor of New Jersey made the news. Two years later, Woodrow becomes president for his progressive views. Well, he imposed segregation in the federal bureaucracy. His Revenue Act initiated income tax to society. Then his Federal Reserve Act put the Fed in control of the money. His Allen died in 14, the same year World War I would ignite. A year later he remarried Edith, his new bride. And Woodrow kept the country out of the fight. Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson. Wilson! In 16 re-elected, he tried to mediate an end to the war. Wilson! But Germany refused, so Woodrow sent millions of soldiers to Europe's shore. Overwhelmed, Germany surrendered in 18 and would fight no more. Woodrow won the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts made for world peace. But the strain on him brought on his stroke, his wife in secret took over duties. They left in 21 with Harding's election for their home in D.C. On the 3rd of February 1924, Woodrow died. His unheeded ideas for peace, his legacy. On the $100,000 bill, he resides. Woodrow! Woodrow Wilson